What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Mike. And this Big West men's basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Last time Cal Poly men's basketball was in the Walter Pyramid taking on Long Beach State, the 49ers were celebrating the Big West regular season championship and cutting down the nets. You see Greg Plata here with us. I'm sorry that old-timey film gets into me a little <laughs> bit. Uh, 49ers have not lost a game in the building since before this win. Uh, that's one thing that stayed the same. Pretty much everything else for this team feels a little bit different, though, JJ. Even though in the Big West, you've got one goal, getting to the tournament. Like you said, some things have changed. You've got Niner Daryl doing, uh, doing the announcements. And really, there is no tomorrow for this team. It's now or never. Yeah, it is, but they've got to get through a very, very, can I just call them annoying Cal Poly team? That, that would be good. They like to grind you down on offense and on defense. And early on, Long Beach State just playing into their hands with some silly turnovers and then Amarius Freeman opening up hot like Dylon. Cal Poly jumps out to a 13-4 lead. Niners turn it over on their first three possessions. Not how you want to start the game, but they are able to bust out. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Where to Ennis? That sparks a 12-2 run for Long Beach State, and ooh, the and one from the freshman Mike Caffey. Yeah, there were a lot of highlight real plays for Long Beach early on, but there were just weren't many of them. TJ Robinson with an and one of his own. This clip here shows what we're talking about. A missed free throw, you get out hustled, you get out rebounded, you give up really, really easy buckets. Cal Poly's going to take all that and go up 17-16. This is how the Mustangs win games, and it's how Long Beach State loses games. But the freshman Caffey, with the steal right there, he gives it to where they do not want to lose this game against a Cal Poly team that this is their offense. They like to hold the ball, the burn offense. Their fastest shot in the first 10 minutes of the game was with 17 seconds on the play clock. But eight steals for the beach get them out in the open floor where they are so deadly and wear on the corner like common with three. They go to halftime 25-23. In the second half, they were really able to force the Mustangs to move faster than they wanted to with aggressive defense. And you know what that means. The long arm of the law. You do not want James Ennis changing the tempo. That's what they did, making the Mustangs look a little bit Bambi-legged as the tempo picked up. But Time and time again. Too easy. Will Taylor, way too easy. He had 16 and 8 against the Niners. He has been uh, happy to do that in the pyramid. But Ware, ready to take it over first with the teardrop. Then he takes the charge. This game is tied at this point, so you know it's Casper time. And Mike Caffey knows that as well. Yeah, he says, hey, I'm playing well, but it's this kid's team. Bang! 17 points for the senior Ware. That's why he's conference player of the year. He makes plays like that. And then man's game. Woo, TJ, beautiful move with the left and one, 13 and 14. Another double-double for Mr. Double-Double. They're up five with eight left, but the Mustangs just won't go away, and they got some help. Yeah, Long Beach State wasn't exactly pushing them away either. David Hansen, 11 points, nine of those coming in the second half with the easy inside bucket there. This game needs to get caffeinated. Look at Mike Caffey pushing <laughs> Hansen out, causing the turnover, leading to the run. Larry Anderson in transition, and then how about a three-pointer from the freshman? Caffey, his game, an all-around experience. You know what really this game needs? Hustle. Yeah, get it. it hustle. It, this game will be won by whichever team has the most Charlie Hustle and uh, offensive rebounds diving on the floor. These are the plays you need to see. Didn't expect to see him from a freshman, to be honest for me with you. Head coach Dan Munson said after the game, just a true baller. So with one minute left, up to 50 to 48, dribbling out the clock, you give the ball to your freshman. He's going to get fouled and he's going to go to the line. However, Long Beach missed 10 free throws in this game. <laughs> So, again, Cal Poly right there, and Hansen, nice move in the paint, gonna make it 51-50 with 30 seconds left. But you put the game in your senior's hands, and there you go. The oopsie doodle on the out inbounds pass, where, gonna make both of his three throws, 53-50. Furman and Taylor both get shots at tying this game late. However, Mustangs only one for 13 from behind the arc in this game, and of course, Robinson coming down with the rebound to finish it. He's the all-time leading rebounder for Long Beach State. They're trying to be one of the all-time great teams. If the freshman Caffey keeps stepping in with two for two, one of one from beyond the arc, six point or seven point six assist games, I think they might have a shot at it, JJ. Indeed, they will go back on the road for their third game this week at Northridge Saturday night. If you can't get up the freeway to that game, get back here to GazetteSports.com because we are Long Beach Sports.